Oh, wait. No, that sounds... awful. Why does that sound... so bad? Yeah. My mic is set properly. What the fuck is going on? Ah! I do fuck, 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 fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck is this? Why is it... Uh, sound settings, okay, hold up. Do -do. Uh, mm, properties... Is that better? Not really, huh? How, how about now? Is that better? Um, no, it's like, it's... It's like constantly pinned at the max for some reason. What the fuck? No, 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 no. The headphone ones, they would automatically be muted whenever they're flipped up anyways. Um, okay, we can restart NVIDIA broadcast, maybe? How's it? Jesus Christ. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, like, it sounds fine there. Does it sound okay here? NVIDIA Broadcast. Properties. Listen. Listen to this device. Hello? Hello, hello, hello? Yeah, okay. It's really hard to... Uh, fuck. It's really hard to talk whenever I'm, like, hearing myself instantly like that. Anyways, uh, okay. So, like, yeah, no, that sounds fine. So, it's, it's just, like, an OBS thing? Oh, no, not that. Ah! Uh, cancel. Settings. Audio. Re-enable the mic. Holy fuck. Okay, now it's like peaking. Peaking, peaking. And then filters. I have to add my filter back in, I guess. Um. Okay. That's a little better. More, please. How's that sound? Is that is that more like what it should be? I just like disabled it and re-enabled it in OBS. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit too, I think, like, there, and then... Something like that? How's that sound? I need, I need to know, does it sound okay now? I think it's better now. I think. I think I need to, like, just turn it down a little bit too, I don't know, like... I don't know what the hell happened. I haven't even messed with it. There must have been, I don't know, one of these times my my computer updated or something. It must have just, like, fucked with everything or something. Razer Siren X. Music's a little loud. Well, yeah, okay. I mean, I can turn that down if I need to, but... I'm gonna turn the mic down more. Like, on the back end of it. There we go. Maybe a little bit more, even, because it's still, like, up there, up there. How's, like, 65? 65 seems more or less right. If I just, like, turn that up now. Hey! There we go. Yeah, no, okay. Okay, I think, I think we're good now, hopefully.
Do we need to actually turn the game down more? Yeah, I'll turn it down a little more for you. Not going to change it by much, but a little bit. A little bit. All right. Hopefully everything's good now, eh? Didn't expect all of that. Um, but I downloaded the DLC, so... <laughs> So there's, there's a lot of DLC, apparently. I don't know. If you would like to change the marriage candidate's outfits, you may do so by selecting the downloadable content on the title screen. Then, oh, okay. Oh. Why is the game doing that? <laughs> what the hell? This is going well today. Um, why, why are you, like, glitching out? What is going on? Is it just the capture card, or is it, like, everything? Hold on. Okay. It seems to be... Well, this is, like, clipped. It's, like, overscanned. So I can't even tell. Why... Why is it overscanned? That's dumb. Thanks. Um... Is it not showing like the right resolution or something? What is, what, what is, what is going on right now? What is, what is this? Why? <laughs> what is? Hold on, go home. And it's like it's just the game that's doing it. Now that I'm out of the game, it's not doing it. Uh. What am I? Um, I'm in system, that's why. Now it's thundering? You can just watch the power go out. I mean, it is supposed to storm where I live at today. No, it's 1080 by 60 hertz. Everything should be fine. I can restart my capture card if need be. Just, like, unplug it and plug it back in. Yeah, I guess I'll do that real quick, too. Jesus Christ. Ah! Come on. Got it unplugged. Now the hard part. Plugging it back in. Come on, where's the fucking thing at? Dude, I just unplugged you. Why can't I plug you back in? There we go. Add a second to load. And then is properly now. I hope so. Probably need to restart the capture in OBS. Bruh, is it just the screen? Yeah, maybe it's just the screen. Maybe the game's just bugged or something. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, gameplay. Message speed fast, please. Vertical controls, yes. Um, background music. Chat camera. I don't know. Reflect changes. That's a weird way to put that, but whatever. We'll leave it. Uh, Jesus Christ. Downloadable content. Apply. Marriage candidates. So we can put them in school uniforms. Uh, animal attire or yakata set. I don't have no idea what that is. We'll just leave it on default for now, I guess. I wish, like, we could see it here. I mean, we probably can see it, like, if we go back to the home screen, right? Like in here somewhere that stuff's in here is there like a preview of it no there's no way to like actually look at it here what if we go to like view game it just takes us here view product Expansion pass set add-ons. This is just gonna take us right back to where we were in it. Dumb. Okay. Well, whatever. I give up. <laughs> it's fine. We're we're just gonna use the regular stuff to start with, anyways, and then we'll go from there. Normal mode. Bonuses found in seedling mode will not be given. Oh, okay. Items will ship for more money. Player stamina will decrease more slowly. Friendship levels will increase at a faster rate. Skill experience points are easier to gain. Shop prices will be layered. Layered? Lowered. I am dead, obviously, if you can't tell. Anyways, uh, that's cool, though. I've never seen a Harvest Moon type of game with, like, difficulty settings before. Well, before the one, like... 
uh, 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 Stardew Valley, right? Because, like, Stardew Valley has the hard mode, but not an easy mode. But I've never seen one before that. And it's just, I don't know, it's cool that there's one in general. Whether it's a harder mode, an easier mode, whatever the case may be, is really cool. So, like, that's exciting. But no, we're going to play on normal mode, of course. It's just, it's still cool that it, that option's there. More options are always good. Especially, like, I don't know, what if you want to just, like, relax, relax, like, super relax. Long time ago, my grandfather and his friends blazed a trail and established a new settlement. They called it Olive Town. Okay, we have no control over this. It's just doing its thing. It's cute art, though. When I was a kid, I loved listening to stories of my grandfather's pioneering days more than anything. So is this a classic, like, we're taking over our grandfather's farm type of Harvest Moon? Since then, it's been my dream to live in Olive Town, just like he did. Oh. Hey, we have a character creator. That's always cool. I just need to turn down my stream monitoring a little bit. There we go. Facial features, Pioneer. Frontier, energetic, bright, robust, fresh, sweet, calm, gentle, elite, feminine, mischievous, friendly, confident, sleepy, sly, mysterious, stubborn. Uh, stubborn. <laughs> Skin color? Make me white AF, dude. <laughs> That's what I am. IRL. Oh, they have okay. presets? That's cool. Okay, okay, what? Well, it's okay, probably gonna reset okay. everything we've done, okay. huh? Okay. What if we go back? No, sick. Okay, right eye color. <gasps> you can have two different color eyes? That's cool. I don't think I will, but it's cool that you can. Brown, gold. Probably gonna end up going with the lavender that I had selected. Like, a lot of these are just too bright, you know? Like, strawberry's not terrible. Lavender's good. The brown and the blue gray, I think, are good. But, like, the light green, that's a little too much. And, like, that one? I don't know, man. I wish the pupils were, like, still black. Regular brown's not terrible either. Yeah, let's go with the lavender. Just keep it there. I like purple. Short farmer cut, long farmer cut. Kind of like medium length too. And go with the mohawk. You like purple? Nope. Hate it. My least favorite color. So it's probably either going to be medium two or long farmer cut. Medium two. Caramel brown. Kind of like the chocolate brown. I like the... I don't know. I just like the way it looks. Pink gold. How's that pink gold? It just kind of looks gold. <laughs> Whatever. Fresh green, diamond white, and do the chocolate. Maybe. Ooh, but there's velvet purple. It goes with my eyes. Yeah, velvet purple. Okay. 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 Bro, I have no idea. Fresh is fine. What <laughs> bearing? Powerful. Nate, what's up, man? Versus charming. We'll stick with powerful. The jacket's fine. I guess that's it. Yeah, confirm. Okay, that's us. Confirm. It looks great. What up, Nate? Did I say that already? I don't know. I'm. <laughs> I'm dead as always. No surprise there, I know, but like, oof. So I looked into it a little bit before, like, 
I decided that I wanted to play it, play it. And like, this game here has some stuff from Animal Crossing kind of in it, right? Like there's, seems to be more of a focus on customizing the, your farm slash town. There's a museum that you donate things to and stuff like that. And that's kind of the reason why I decided to go with this one instead of playing like my favorite one from childhood. Uh, Cause there's a remake of that one too, Friends of Mineral Town. Um, because, like, I don't know, I thought it would be fun to kind of collect all the things and do all that sort of shit and whatnot. And then there's A Wonderful Life, which is, I think, my brother's favorite, or at least one of his favorites. Um, but, I don't know, I never really had much of a connection to that one. And I don't own it yet. So, <laughs> originally I was going to put it up to a poll. But since I don't own that one yet, I was like, screw it, I'm just going to play Pioneers all the time. Uh, we'll go with Violet again. Just Violet everything, dude. Let's go. First sounds like the fucking Chuck E. Cheese commercial guy from the mid 2000s. Oof. <laughs> That's okay. I honestly don't remember what he sounds like, but yeah, I agree. Anyways, I know I brought my drink up. Ah, I can't reach though. Shit. Okay, hold on. My drink up here. Get situated. Oh wait, for real? Bowling, bowling for soup, right? Pretty sure that's that band's name. I had no idea it was the same guy. Yeah, like, I like some things about A Wonderful Life. I like how time actually, like, progresses in that game. I think that's really cool. Um, how you can actually, like, influence your child's life. I think that's really cool. Like, there's some neat things about A Wonderful Life. It's just, at least in the original, the farming sucked. Other than the ability to make hybrid plants. Um, other than that, the farming was just very meh. And for that reason, I never really played a ton of it because I usually play farming games for the farming. And like, <laughs> so, like, yeah. Plus, like, the mining sucked in it too. And mining is another thing that I really liked in uh, Mineral Town and Stardew Valley and the like. So, like, yeah, there was just a lot of things that I wish was were a bit different in that game in particular. But I know that it's like a fan favorite. Um, a lot of people really like it because it has more emphasis on the story and the relationships and stuff like that. There's not a lot to do. You wish the remake added stuff? Yeah, I mean, they did add a couple of things, didn't they? I know they made at least a lot of quality of life changes, um, but other than that, yeah, I don't know. And who might you be? Did you come all the way here on that motorcycle? I did. Well, that must have been an arduous journey. Your poor motorcycle tells a story all its own. Ah, oh, you needn't worry about it. I can have the repairs arranged. I'll be taking it to a man named Clemens who runs our tool shop. You can pick it up later once he's all done with it. Uh, by the way, might I have your name? Um, sure. We'll just be stream. Oh. Cannot change this later. Yeah, no, that's fine. Let's see, so your name's Stream, is it? That sounds so familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Oh my goodness, your birthday. It's, uh, it is what I think it is. <laughs> yes, it, it's, it is what, what you think it is. Uh, totally. Uh, we'll say winter, even though that means we're going to have to wait a long time. We'll say winter 15? Sure, choose birthday. Yeah, I remember now, winter 15. Come to think of it, his grandchild would be 20 by now. Ah, then that would make you his grandson, yeah. You're a boy, you cannot change this later. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. Of course, my apologies. I don't know how I could have forgotten when you're standing right in front of me. Goodness gracious, I think my dear old friend's grandson will find his way to Olive Town. Come on, then, I'd be happy to show you to your grandfather's old farm. So it is a classic, we're getting our grandfather's farm type game. I'm down for that. You enjoyed the camera perspective. The town fight felt tight-knit. Years actually progressing and uh, something. Uh, people getting older. Yeah, those are the things I really liked about it. Um, I didn't care for the whole animals having to have, like, to be pregnant to get milk or, well, you know, having to have been pre pregnant to give milk. I didn't care for that. I appreciate the more realistic stuff, I guess, but, like, 
meh, I don't need that in my farming game. Um, I did think it was kind of cool that you have to have, like, an actual rooster and a hen in order to incubate eggs, right? Like, that was cool, I guess. Uh, did a lot of neat things. Just had the feeling that they didn't have the time they needed to fully finish it. Yeah, but, like, and that's what makes me think... The remake is kind of what makes me think otherwise, right? Because if that were the case, I feel like they would have done more with the remake, and they didn't, so... Uh, something the matter. Actually, let me guess. By the look on your face, you'd like to ask me, are you quite sure this is grandfather's farm, sir? And to that, I would say, it is. When your grandfather lived here, this farm was a lush and beautiful place. Emphasis on the was, I'm afraid. Now, what was the name of his farm again? It's on the tip of my tongue. Grandfather must have told you the name of the farm. Surely, what was it again? I mean, I'm tempted to just call it Olive Farm because we're in Olive Town, but like... If anybody has a better idea, I'm totally down for it, because I'm terrible at naming my farm in farming games. <laughs> always have been. Probably always will be. It's just never been something I've been good at. Might have been scared to change too much because fans can be wild. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. I heard or saw a lot of stuff online about people being mad about them just doing like the quality of life changes that they did. Which I think is insane. Like, <laughs> stick with the purple theme, lavender. Lavender farm. There we go. Sounds good to me. Confirm. I mean, we could have done violet, but lavender. Interested in taking over the farm, aren't you? Are you? Well, I can't say I'm well versed on the subject, but I can at least teach you the basics to start you off. I kind of want to try. So I haven't really been interested in Harvest Moon since, you know, they stopped being made by Marvelous here. Um, but I am kind of interested in the newer one, Winds of Anthos or whatever. I just haven't seen a ton about it, but could have done Purple Haze. I don't think we can grow weed. I'm not. <laughs> here you are. I'll pass these along to you. Guessing their seeds? Oh, tools. Tools for developing the farm. So I'm sure you are well aware this farm has seen better days, but those tools would be the key to changing all that. Use buttons to select an item, and then square. Uh, triangle to open your notebook and inventory. Trees and stones while clearing things out. You'll need special tools to deal with those. Use an axe while standing in front of a tree will allow you to chop it down. Stones can be broken with hammers, and sickles can cut wild grass. Utilize your tools to grow the land, or whatever. I realize this is a lot to take in, and it might be baffling at first. Take things at your own pace, and you'll gradually grow accustomed to it. Ah, and do use the sleeping bag in your tent if you find yourself exhausted from work. Get a night's rest will restore your energy. So we don't even have a house to start with. We're just straight up in a tent. That's kind of interesting. 420's coming up. Mm. The only bad thing you heard about it was their monetary system was absolutely fucked. Crops were worth almost nothing, but fish were worth a ton, which kind of makes the whole farming thing redundant. Again, I feel like this game, or I'm sorry, A Wonderful Life just didn't have a focus on farming at all, like, to be honest with you. But I think the reason for that, I haven't played the remake or anything, hardly played the original, but I'm guessing it's because there's more of an emphasis on the tier two and three crops, right? Oh, the new Harvest Moon. Okay, okay, I was gonna say. I didn't know anything about all that, but, like, <laughs> I meant the new Harvest Moon. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I haven't really heard anything. I've seen the trailer. I saw a couple people react to the trailer when it came out, um, but, like, that's that's it. That's all I really know about it. Welcome to take some notes on all this for future reference. If you do, you can view them from the notebook in your tent at any time. Following along so far, if you're unsure about anything, I can explain it to you once more if you prefer. No, please do not. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I have some other things I should explain to you as well, but I'd rather not overwhelm you. Let's wrap up here for today. First, I'd like to try out everything you've learned. I'll be back tomorrow to teach you how to grow crops. Oh, and if there's anything about all the time you'd like to know, I'm the man to ask. I'm the mayor, after all. As a quick word of mayoral advice, it's just you get acquainted with our residents. Leaving a good first impression is paramount, I always say. Now then, I'll be on my way. Till tomorrow. Cool. I've been playing Innocent Life on my own time a bit, the, like, spin-off of Harvest Moon. And, uh, like, don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying it. But I don't think you can even gift things to people in that game. There doesn't seem to be, like, any relationship aspect in it. It's weird. But I don't know. I'm only on, like, the first real day after the week and a half tutorial that's in that game. So uh, we'll see. Your tools can all be stored in the tool bag. When you need them, take them out to use them. And when you're done, you can store them back in there. Make the best use you can of this special tool storage. Now go to Twilight Owl, a new special location. Okay, okay, okay. That's uh, the DLC stuff, I think. New events in town. 
friend Mikey and Cindy and develop the town to a certain level to get down to the bottom of these new mysteries. Okay, yeah. This this has to be all... There's a Shiba new costume? Anyways, this has to be all, like, DLC stuff. Oh, have you played some of Innocent Life? I know you, like, knew of it, but I didn't know if you ever played any of it or not. Logging, reaping, mining. Okay, so we have skills. There's crafting. This must be, like, the people. Calendar. Can we... We can. Are there multiple people's birthdays on the same day? What? You have all these days to spread them out, and there's three shared birthdays in the first month? Pet derby? That's cool. Kinda. I hope we can actually, like, enter ours. You had it on PS3? Sir, that game was only for PS2 and PSP. <laughs> they never made a PS3 version of that game. Oh. Summer. So there's a lot of characters in this game, isn't there? Holy hell. I wonder, like, if this is also the DLC characters? Or if this is just the characters in the base game? Oh, we share a birthday with Damon. Whoever that is. Okay, well, whatever. Novice logger. What's what's this? Oh, it's just the calendar. The same thing we're already in. Listen to the weather forecast on the radio. It's important for farmers to know what the weather will be. You'll be able to listen to the forecast for the next ambiance. So be sure to tune in. Uh, weather report. It's gonna be sunny today. Sunny tomorrow. Sunny the day after. Okay, so sunny every day. Encyclopedia? Tree crops. Okay, so we have to, like, actually learn the things before they're in here. That's fine. Fishing. Processed goods. Okay, there's a lot of shit, huh? What's this one? Ah, this is how we save. Okay. Does that mean we can save at any time? If release on PS3 is a downloadable game, Broski, are you sure? Because I didn't think there were any, like, PS2 games on PS3. I know you could download PSP games on the PS3, you just couldn't play them on the PS3. It was 10 bucks? <laughs> okay, I mean, I'll take your word for it, man. I don't know. I ain't never heard of it, but... But if you found a whole ass article about it, then yeah, whatever. You sow seeds in your fields to be able to grow crops. Try planting some seeds after you've learned a little bit more about it. Okay. Where are our tools? Oh, so we have a tool bag that holds our tools for us, but they're not usable from the tool bag? That's kind of dumb. I wish they were, like, actual... usable in there. Can we... Oh, we don't have a hoe yet. Never mind. Wild berry? We have the sickle, though, right? Do we get anything for... Okay, yeah, we get grass. Ooh, okay. Can we use the arrows to move? No. It's gonna be a little weird. I'm used to, like, tile base. Like, I feel like we should be doing the next one there. Like, right here, you know? I feel like we should be doing the tile in front of us. You can kind of go in the tile a little bit and still interact with the tile you're on, which is just weird. What is this? Is this a fern? Royal fern. Can we break like these rocks or what kind of rocks can we break? Here, let's try chopping down a tree. Flex some wood. Can we get rid of the stump too? We can. 
Does it use stamina if we just use a tool on nothing? It doesn't look like it, which is nice, I guess. So if we miss something, then we're not, like, screwing ourselves. Oh, if we hold R1 or L1, though, we stay whichever direction we're facing. So then we can get the four directional movement. That's handy. Okay, well, I feel like... I mean, we could clear our home a little bit more or whatever, but I feel like we should explore the town a little bit. If you discover crops you've never seen before while clearing your land, harvest and ship them as soon as you can. If you do, those crop seeds will become available for purchase at all of town shops. That's actually pretty cool. So we can unlock more seeds by, by shipping more stuff. Now, does that count for flowers as well, or just, just the crops? Is this a mine? Is the mine, like, right next to our freaking house? It is. At least one of them. I don't know how many mines there are or anything. Four type items can be obtained in the mines. Stick as deep as you can, but be sure to keep an eye on your stamina. If you need to exit, you can use the ladders to climb back up. If you spawn ore vein in the mine walls, smash it with your hammer to get lots of ore. Keep an eye out for sparkling location too. If you dig there with your hoe, you might find something rare. Well, we can't actually dig anything yet. We don't have the hoe. So this is very like Stardew-esque type of mining. Which, I mean, obviously was very much like mining in some other games. Um, does time progress in the mine? It does. Does it progress at the same speed as outside, I wonder? Ah, uh, see, I wish we could, but we can't do anything there. Okay, we'll figure out more about this later. Let's explore the town a little bit before the day's over. And I guess we need to ship those seeds real quick, to, or not seeds, but the onion. Um, we have five. I want to keep one. Uh, I like that it tells us how much money we're going to get whenever we ship stuff. Like the total down there. Sure, do the flower. I don't know what's going to like give us seeds and what's not, so... Actually, I want to take... I want to keep one of the berries. Sure, ship the fern. I wonder if, like... Is this one of the Harvest Moon type games where... Like, you need to ship everything? Next Door Stranger. We have a title. Album? Okay, I have no idea what any of this is. That's fine. Let's explore the town a little bit <laughs> before before I get myself, like, completely engrossed in whatever the hell is going on. The animal shop closed on Tuesdays. That's not today! The animal shop sells livestock and pets. If you tame wild animals on your farm, a larger variety of animals will be available for purchase there. You can tame wild animals? That's pretty cool. Bridget. So that must be a marriage candidate, I'm assuming, because of the little heart there. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh my, you inherited that farm. That's wonderful. I'm Bridget. I'm very familiar with handling animals, so if you need any help with that, please ask me. Or if you don't catch a walleye and start by the end of this day. <laughs> that bad, huh? Okay, so we can't buy animals, so we have somewhere to put them. That makes sense. I think that there may be more animals than people in this town. There's a lot of freaking people, though. like animals? Nope, I hate them. Uh, okay, so she's like super into animals. How many eating cake at the cafe is one of my go-to platers. I'd recommend uh, oh, I couldn't choose just one. They're also good. How many like dialogue things do they have per day? I'm used to like people having one or two. Pleasure to meet your stream, right? I'm Patricia. I run the animal shop. Keep that in mind. I expect you'll be needing that come before too long. I don't know. Reading kits? Okay. Do we, if we go to... Sounds like they got the voice actors from Sagi's Waifu. Hell yeah, dude. 
Okay, well, we have a com communication skill. So that's cool. Wooden gate, wooden fence, wooden road. That's all we can craft so far. Does it automatically, like, sort people by who likes us most or whatever? I'm curious, like... Because in some games, right, you they like you a little bit more if you just talk to them. Some games, like, it's just gift giving that really does anything, at least anything of note. So I'm wondering, like, should we talk to people as much as possible, or... Should we just focus on giving them gifts? Can we raid your house? No. Oh, we have camera controls. Kind of. We can tilt a little bit. Who are you? Uh. Gorg. <laughs> hey, I haven't seen you around before. Your name's Stream, is it? I'm Gorg, Captain of the Ferry. Good to meet you, lad. You as well. What is this place? General store. Okay. I didn't see what the hours of operation were, but... Seed seedlings and various other products. Uh, changes each season, so check back often. 8 to 6. Closed on Tuesdays. Is everybody closed on Tuesdays? Welcome to Olive General Store. Furniture. Table clock, wall clock. Bright rug, okay. Materials? Oh, you just straight up sell, like, collectible thingies. That's nice. So we got potatoes, turnips, cucumbers. I wonder what the quality is. Can we get, like, higher quality seeds somewhere? Anyways, radish, fodder, tea leaf. The game is glitching out again. <laughs> Anyways, beans, wheat, rice, oh, multiple seasons, spring, summer, and autumn, that's cool, coffee, it was in spring, sweet, I wonder, do these... Do you have to replant these every season? Because, like, they're very expensive. I'm guessing the coffee, no. So this color of box must mean it grows in multiple seasons. No, wait, because these ones do too. We grow... I'm... Ah, I'm trying to figure out what the different, like, colors mean. Toys for our pets. Fishing bait base? Okay. Spring. Hello! Lele attack just redeemed hydrate. Drink a cherry seedling. A seedling of a tree. I'm tempted to just like go straight into buying a tree. But like I have no idea where I should plant it or do anything yet. And I assume the trees just stay good forever. We should probably... Okay, I'm not going to buy anything yet. Because, like, we should probably get a hoe first. <laughs> and figure out how to actually... Wink. Um, figure out how to actually, like, farm and shit. Before we worry about buying random seeds and all that. As you get used to farm work, you'll find yourself leveling up various skills along the way. Gain special traits and learn new crafts. Okay. Casual acquaintance. Yeah. You are not a marriage candidate, it doesn't look like. So now that we're level two, we can make a jewelry ring. Nice. You have to be a marriage candidate, right? Yeah, Jack. Hey, uh, you looking for anything in particular? Heard about you from the mayor. I'm Jack, your friendly neighborhood general of general store generalities. Okay, that flopped. I'm Jack. Nice to meet you. Real smooth, Jack. You guys like live here too? Yes. I mean, I kind of figured that's how they usually work. I kind of wish time didn't move indoors. I've always been a big fan when they do that. I get why it's not always like that, but still. Ooh, you guys have a TV. Can I use the TV? No. Okay. That's fine. We really should have started exploring the town like a little bit earlier, probably. Half of the shops are going to be closed by the time we get anywhere. Marco's house. Oh. 
Oh no, you've got the look of someone who hasn't gone fishing before, am I right? Don't you worry, this is as good an opportunity as any to learn. I'd be happy to teach you if you'd like to try. Here, for starters, I'll give you this fishing rod. It was just lying around my house, and I'd rather it be put to good use. Bruh, am I glad we went in here. I love fishing. <laughs> you can cast out your fishing rod as long as you're facing a body of water. Once you've got a fish on the line, reel it in and begin the battle with your catch. Rules of fishing are simple. If there's a body of water, you can probably catch your line into it. Simply face the water, throw out your line, and the moment you nab something on the hook, start reeling it in. Once you've gained enough fishing experience, I bet you'll be able to reel in the big one, just like Mio Moore Marcos can. And that's all there is to it. Now get out there and enjoy the fish. Okay. Bro, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen whenever we came in here. Like, fishing right away? Ah. Don't even have to wait a couple days? To be the new owner of that farm, your stream, right? My name's Manuela, and don't you forget it. I mean, we kind of met whenever you gave me the fishing gear, but thank you. So is that, like, in our tool bag then? Yeah. Cool. Nice to meet you. I'm Marcos, a fisherman in your stream, right? We're a tight-knit community here. Everyone knows everyone. Come by and shoot the breeze sometimes. I'm, like, so tempted to go straight into fishing, but... I feel like we should continue to meet people and explore the town a bit. Lori? Dear me, I've not seen you in these parts before. Are you new to this town? You are Stream, a fine name. I shall commit it to memory. Called Lori, I hope we will forge an excellent relationship. I don't think I like you. <laughs> That's kind of rude, but like, you're not my favorite person. Okay, so it does seem like we get some sort of thing for talking to people, because they keep getting musical notes the first time we talk to them. Emilio. Oh, you're the one who came on that motorcycle. I'm Emilio, don't you you go for getting it now, okay? I'll try, but I probably will. Oh, this is the dude that shares a birthday with us. Uh, Damon. I have no idea who we want to marry. This is... Cafe? You're still open. Let's go down. If you're not terribly hungry but need a light meal after work, stop by Sally's Cafe. It's a great place to take a break every once in a while. Closed on Tuesdays. Yeah, okay, so it really does seem like everybody's just closed on Tuesdays. Hi there. Salad, soups, entrees, desserts, other dishes. Things have a, like, specific flavor? Weren't you glad it's so refreshing? That's terrible. And a temperature, oddly enough. Vegetable sandwich? Ooh. Soup. <laughs> I really like soup. I'm so tempted to eat a soup. Fuck it, we're, we're buying some soup. Order a soup. <laughs> Give me the soup! Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, nope. That's all we needed. Ooh, why is our, like... Why are our hearts gold now? Does it go up over time? Oh, the map shows us where everybody is? That's really cool. Either that or where they live. The bistro is closed never. Okay. All of the like... Chocobo, what's up, man? Welcome. General Chocobo store, enthusiast. animal shop, just subscribed for 24 months. So it seems like all of the important things are closed on Tuesday. It's kind of an. I kind of. I almost wish they all would have just stayed closed, like, or did like Tuesday for everything, <laughs> like instead, just because it'd be easier for me to remember. But at least we can see it all here. I'm a little annoyed we can't just like. Oh, shit, this is a radio, too. Um, that we can't, like, hover over all the different people and things in the town. Your stream right I've heard about you. Have you heard about me? Oh, you haven't? I'm Jason, though. I may look the part of a dashing corsair. I'm actually the owner of the Gauls Rest Hotel. Where's the museum, bro? That's, like, the thing I'm most excited for, is to be able to, like, donate things and fill out the museum. Animal Crossing slash Stardew Valley-esque. Can we, like, plunder this chest? No, that's lame. You printed new bookmarks for your books? Hey. Yeah, you'll definitely have to show them. Sounds cute. 
Are they like Pokemon or something? Any particular design or just whatever? I'm still really confused why our hearts changed colors though. Cats, ah, of course they are. Oh. So we can go in random people's rooms with the elevator. That's <laughs> okay. This just goes back outside. Who are you? Hey. There's so many people, man. Looking for the lowdown on Olive Town, then you've come to the right gal. Wait, your stream? Mayor Victor told me about you. I'm Laura, the town's tour guide. No question is a dumb question as far as I'm concerned, so fire away if there's anything you'd like to know. Okay, well, I'm assuming that's, like, closed. There's another boat. I have no idea where any of the boats go. God, there's never enough time in these farm games, man. That's my... <laughs> I need things to, like... Can we still go in, even though it's closed? Yeah, so we just can't shop. Flower seeds and furniture at the shop. Okay. So flowers are separate from groceries. That makes sense. Your name is Stream. Oh, you're the one who came to town riding a motorcycle. My name is Lynn. I managed the flower shop with my grandpa. I'd be delighted to receive your patronage. You seem nice. Is this your granddad? Here we go. Hello, old man. You are tiny. <laughs> who are you? Ah, oh, Stream. So you're the one then. Name's... Mm, my granddaughter and I run the flower shop. If you ever want flowers or seeds, come to me. I wonder how much flowers cost and or sell for. Not going to find out today, though. Going to have you wanting to play another farming game? Hell yeah, dude. Do it. Hello, random man. Ralph. Oh, uh, I don't think we've had the pleasure. I seem to recall the mayor saying something about this. Your stream. You're living on that farm, I hear. I'm Ralph. I work as a forest ranger. Nice to meet you. And you. Tool shop. We'll upgrade precious tools for you. You may also commission bag expansions. That's cool. Bag expansions would be nice. Hey. Clemens. I'm the guy behind all the bits and bobs of the tool shop. It's your stream. Good to meet you. Are you guys the ones working on my notepad? The one I've been hearing rumors about. I'm Lars. I'm, I help big brother Clem at the tool shop. Came here on a motorcycle, right? Well, it just so happens in this town's motorcycle expert. If you ever need any help with that, I'm your guy. So does that mean you're fixing it? I mean, I know the mayor told us who was fixing it, but I do not remember <laughs> who it was at all. Why is my camera like... <laughs> it's just cutting off my leg for some reason. Anyways, whatever. What is this? Handyworks, okay. And who are you? Cindy. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Cindy. Your stream? You're the one who's going to be living on the farm. May I come to play sometime? Sure, little dude. You can come play on the farm. I don't care. You may purchase farm facilities and upgrades at Nigel's workshop. Once you've repaired a dilapidated farm facility for the first time, Nigel will begin to sell them. You may also commission him to expand your home. Uh, can I just commission him to get a home? Because <laughs> right now I'm living out of a tent. <laughs> uh, you're the carpenter. Okay. <laughs> Gotta make him work the farm. Wait, the child? <laughs> Cindy? <laughs> put some, put her, put her to use, man. Some slave labor, some child labor. There we go. That's better. <laughs> oh, you're Ralph again. We already talked to you. We don't care about you. I have no idea who I want to marry. There's so many people, though. Like, so we've met a handful. Oh, God, yeah. We haven't even met half of them, man. There's so many people in this game. Again, I don't know if that's counting, like, all the DLC characters, though, or if that's just the base game characters. Because I don't think the DLC characters really have much to do with, like, the normal game so much. Is this the museum? Oh, this is the town hall. Uh, quest from the townsfolk are posted up on the bulletin board. Oh! There's a quest system? Requesting grass. Requested by Laura. Oh, should we just deliver it here? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's... Oh, thank God. Because I have no idea where the hell Laura likes to hang out at. 
Uh, I would imagine so, Noodle. I know, well, like, Harvest Moon games usually have the cute Harvest sprites in them, at least, but obviously I've never played this one before, so I don't know what all there is or isn't in it. You're telling me all about your stream, right? I'm um, Jacopo. In case you haven't guessed, I'm the mayor's son. You work the fairy, okay. Hello. I'm just like intruding on these people's dinner right now. My name's Gloria, I curate the museum. Okay. I want to talk to you more, Gloria, but preferably like in the museum. Oh, it's right next door, holy shit, okay. Well, it's gonna be like empty right now because we haven't donated anything yet, and I'm assuming, like most games, we have to do all of the work ourselves. Pardon me, yes, you over there. Might I have a moment of your time? Olive Museum was established so that tourists the world over could view some of the splendors our town holds. As you can see, however, we currently have a few spectacles to attract our visitors with. It's quite the conundrum. For a while now, I've considered making art of the local wild animals, but I don't have the resource. I have a request for you. If you have the time to do so, would you be able to take pictures of the wild animals? Let's go, dude! Yeah, so, like, that's the thing. I don't know what we actually donate, but I know, like, pictures is one thing that we do donate. I saw that in the trailer. Um, blue outline shown on the ones that can be donated to the museum. Good. Interest in building an aquarium. Okay. I almost forgot from time to time you might come across relics of ages past. So I'm assuming we want us to donate those too. Cool. Awesome. Sick. I'm actually, that's, yeah, the whole reason why I decided to go with this one over the other ones. Um, so photos of wild animals, fish, and treasures. Beth will create and sell faux decor you can place in your home. If you happen upon any mysterious or time-worn objects. Okay. So we unlock things by donating things. We don't just, like, make it better. The museum better. Oh, they're connected by a sky bridge? I kind of wish it showed us, like, walking across it. Is there anybody actually out here in the ranger station? No. Can we chop down wild trees or just, like, our own trees? Fish. I'm assuming we don't need bait or anything, right? Hold square. To reel in fish. When a fish is white, it'll be reeled in slowly. So reeling in a fish, your fishing rod's durability will gradually decrease. If gauge falls to zero, the fish will get away. When a fish is white, it will be reeled in slowly. Okay. When a fish turns red, it's angry and will take a toll on your rod's durability if you try to reel it in. Okay, so if it's red, let it go. If it's white or blue, reel it in. Is there like a time limit though, or? Oh, I see. So our durability is that thing on the left. So we only really want to reel it in whenever it's blue. Did we lose it? We lost it. Okay, we're gonna try again, cause like, I didn't understand how to do it a moment ago. <laughs> but now I get it! Now I know what I'm doing. I thought white would be fine. I guess white would be fine if we have like a bunch of extra durability. Maybe when we get like a better rod or something. Oh shit, definitely don't wanna do what's red. Oh, <gasps> there's a fox. I need to take a picture of it. Oh no, I didn't I didn't know that I got the thingy. I will. I forgot to make like a pop-up alert for that, so I just like I never see it happen. <laughs> a yellow perch. Wait. A perch isn't what uh my brother was looking for, was it? <laughs> Off to Jack? I don't think so. What was he trying to fish for? Imagine we catch it in like this game whenever he's the one looking for it. A walleye, that's right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, no. Uh, hold on. I have a bunch of things to clear. Read a poem. We're gonna do that in just a second, but I gotta get rid of a bunch of stuff here that I never got rid of. There we go. Winter only in Stardew, and you can't find one. Oof. Oof. Is it like a time limited one or anything? All right. This is me. I am the eye of the storm, and my heart is a little broken. But if you want me, I'm yours. 
I am in awe of even the way you walk, and yet you walk right past me. Short ones today, but there you go, man. Read some poems. You hate fishing in Stardew? I love fishing in Stardew. Uh, okay, we need to get out the camera. And replace it with the grass, and then take pictures. How do we... Okay. How do we... Ah! Oh, shoot. Uh, delete. Sure, that's a cute picture. Save it. I think we scared the little dude a bit. But anyways, um... Okay, so I'm assuming... Because, like, it's still blue, so I'm assuming the outline won't stop being blue until we donate it, maybe? What is this? Lori's residence. Oh. You're the person I didn't really like that much. <laughs> You're Master Stream, correct? I've heard tell of you from Master Victor. I am called Dosetsu. I have attended the young master, Lord Lori, since his birth. Okay. You guys are just, like, too proper. Is my problem. Like, relax a little bit, dude. It's not that big of a deal. I think that's more or less the entire town. I wonder how late we can stay up. I wonder what the penalty is for staying up too late. So much to learn, man. I've never played this one before. Oh shit, wait, we're in the we need to go this way. So tomorrow we should be able to actually start farming a bit. Which is always nice in, you know, your farming sim. So ship. I'm assuming we could eat it as well, but like we'll just sell it for now. Can we make a chest or something to store stuff in? Let's clear some trees. I have no idea, like, if we need the trees for anything. Like, in Stardew, you know, you can keep them for sap and things. Um, I have no idea if there's any sort of system like that in this game. So I'm, I'm just going to assume it's safe to cut all down. Or cut them all down. At least the normal trees. Oh. Obviously, it'd probably be different if it, like... Dilapidated coop. Uh, several dilapidated structures exist on the farm. Try to repair the coop first so you can raise chickens. Need 20 logs. Oh. Oh. Well, <laughs> now I kind of wish we would have spent the day, you know, collecting resources instead of... Exploring the town, but no, I mean, we needed to do that eventually anyways. Go we'll pass out and wake up in the house the next day. Eat food to restore stamina, that's fine. But what time are we forced to go to bed? That's what I really want to know. Okay, we have enough logs now. What else do we need? We need a grass... And 20 stone. 30 grass, 20 stone. Just getting all the level ups, dude. Let's go. Good mess. I have no idea how much grass we have. Does it show us, like, our total? I see, like, it counts up how many we've collected, but no. So we're currently at 18, so we need 12 more. Oh? Something just popped up. Does the game ever make us go to bed? We have more 
more than enough. Now we just kind of need stone. Is the only other thing we really need. What are you? Oregano. There's herbs. Can we repair the bridge? Uh, okay. So we need to commission somebody to help us with that. That's fine. I'm gonna clear this area, I guess, because I imagine this is where we'll be doing most of our farming at. I'm just curious, like, if we're gonna pass out at some point. If it doesn't cost us any money, better head home and hit day. Okay, okay, okay. So there's no penalty, it seems like, for staying up too late. It just forces you to go home at 2 o'clock. General Store has expanded its product lineup. Grocery Store has expanded its product lineup. It'd be nice if it told us what new things they got or whatever. Now then, it's time to explain how to grow crops, but first you'll be needing these. It'd be nice if you, like, said hello before you just appeared at my house. <laughs> so be your basic tools for field work, so take good care of them. Seeds can't be planted on untilled soil, so you'll want to use the hoe to till it. Once that's done, you can sow seeds on the tilled soil. Then, and this is important, you want to water your crops diligently every day. Don't forget about them. Uh, yep. You water things, you take care of things. I understand how that works. Uh, I know how shipping works. Wait, did he just give us turnip seeds? Is that what he said? See any wild crops while you're clearing the farm? You ship those crops out or local shops will begin to sell the seeds, so be on the lookout for them. I want to know how this whole, like, system works with the quality. Is it like higher quality seeds give us higher quality plants, or can we use fertilizer and stuff? Do we eventually get, like, a seed maker so we can make our own high quality seeds? Do the shops sell higher quality seeds the more stuff we sell? I've looked up, like, nothing about this game, so, like... Oh, wait. He gave us a cherry seedling. And a well. And a turnip. And a bunch of turnip seeds. Bro, well, I'm really glad I didn't buy the cherry seedling now. Um... Do we have any way of, like, storing things, though? Well, here, I'm gonna... I'm gonna sell the oregano, I think. I'll keep the turnip in case they need it, like, at the shop. That'll let me... I can put this away. I can put the camera away. But I need the hoe. And the watering can. I really wish you could just use the tools from the tool bag, though. That's, like, so far, if there's one change I could honestly make to the game, that would be it. Like, I'm fine with the time thing. That's, like, a thing in every Harvest Moon game or whatever, but... Can we till anywhere or just the brown? Oh, those are, like, pre-tilled. How many seeds did he give us? Nine, okay. Can we spread in a big circle? No. That's fine. I'm assuming the game won't let us, like, waste seeds or anything. Oh, bruh. We definitely need to figure out how we want to lay out our farm. Because, like, I'm thinking, where the hell do I want to put this well? I mean, for now? Okay, because if we do that, how big is the well? It just, it's two by two. So if we put it like here, see, that would be covering that up. So maybe, how far over does this go? A decent ways? Do we just put it like here? I'm just going to put it here, and then hopefully we can like move it later. It seems like we can, at least. And then how do trees?